back in Taiwan and we are on our way to my go-to breakfast spot. Just be forewarned, there's a lot of me eating and a lot of voiceover in this video because I was visiting my family and it's kind of awkward to vlog around other people. My first stop is always this breakfast spot. There is one that's a Michelin star one that I know a lot of people go to, but I love this place. It's always so delicious and you don't have to wait in a huge queue. So that's a win for me. Anyways, my family knows that as soon as I get off the plane, this is what I need to eat ASAP. Our next thing is I need to go get my hair washed because there's a hair washing culture in Taiwan. You can just simply go to any salon and get your hair washed. I absolutely love it. Next stop, another restaurant, and this one has a lot of specialties, and if you don't speak Chinese, you can just point, but this place is pretty popular. They're known for their danzai mian, which I recommend if you do come. This is not my regular shaved ice spot, but I saw this place on TikTok and I had to go try it. They were also on the Michelin Guide, but it's shaved ice with osmanthus syrup and something called tangyuan, which are these glutinous rice balls with filling inside. I love all those things, so put them all together and there we go. I still like my personal favorite shaved ice spot. If you've watched my other Taiwan vlogs, you know. But this one was also good. It's just always nice to try something new. Afterwards, we headed to this stall run by this old couple that have been running it forever. And I don't know what it's called in English, but they're essentially kind of like side dishes that have been seasoned in soy sauce marinade. But I really love getting my duck wings and my tofu here. So this place was delicious. It's also kind of cool. I love this aesthetic of getting to pick out the stuff yourself and then the old man goes and cuts it up. There was a huge line for this, by the way, because this stall is quite famous and it's been around for ages. So it's got that kind of old school vibe. Oh, how much is it? We're at a capybara farm. Oh, man, I'm not going to eat it. I think it's cheap. Oh, it's a little bit of a little bit. It's a little bit of a little bit. You can tell my mom is very excited to be here. You don't want to eat it? Are you ready? Oh, you're going to open? Yeah. Oh, I'm going to open. You're going to open it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay. Oh, my God. Hey, that's not nice. Hey, that's not nice. Okay. 他听不懂英文。Literally the viciousness. Hi. Wait. He doesn't want it. These assholes want it. Look at these. <laughs> Hello. 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 
DIY. My dad and stepmom were very excited to come eat here afterwards. It's a shabu shabu or hot pot restaurant. And apparently they own their own fishing boat, so they're able to catch a lot of the seafood pretty much fresh every day. And I have to say, everything was absolutely delicious. I love having individual hot pot bowls to work with. And then there were so many options from the buffet. You could put noodles, vegetables, meat, seafood, pretty much whatever you can think of to your heart's desire was available here. And everything was chef's kiss. It was also definitely what I needed right after that whole experience and, and juggling capybaras. Afterwards, I took a shower and then changed my clothes so I could do a little bit of shopping. Nothing too intense though, but I did want to pick up some beauty supplies and also more importantly, some snacks. And the great thing about shopping with your family is that usually you don't have to pay for anything. So <laughs> there we go. I didn't go crazy, but just a couple things that I wanted to try out. And then most importantly, we had to stop at the grocery store, which is my favorite part of any trip. Anytime I go anywhere, I love picking up local snacks and little treats for myself. So here I am just maximizing my time with the shopping cart. One of my favorite fruits in Taiwan is guava, so luckily I could pick up some dried guava for my suitcase. Afterwards, we headed home and took a rest for the next day. The next day, we went to go eat one of my favorite dishes called rural fan, which is essentially a pork rice dish. And what I love about a lot of restaurants in Taiwan is that they are so rich in history and culture because they are very much generational. Some of these restaurants have been around since my ancestors, my great great grandparents times. And so it's always nice to be able to go back and eat at the same places and feel that flavor. I also wanted to show you guys this, which was really interesting. This is how they wrapped up my ice cream when we went to go pick up some popsicles. They just wrapped it in this old newspaper, kind of like gift wrapping, which I thought was really interesting and just something I don't usually get to see. And then afterwards, it was my last day, so I had to go home and pack up everything to get ready to go. As you can see, I didn't really buy too much, but my suitcase was very small. I only brought a carry-on. Oh, here's my snack break. This is a meat bun that my dad really likes, and it was actually very good. Um, it's just kind of this roasted meat bun situation, but I was already really full from lunch, so I could only take a little bit. Anyways, continuing on, we are packing away because I needed to head over to the airport and just make sure that everything fit in my bag and was under the weight limit. And then here I am, made it to the airport. Sadly, this was it for my trip to Taiwan, but I will most definitely be back next time.